the long the week. Co the cognitive uh, reasons. To We're trying to. Will you be a professional for once? You ready? We're ready. I'm not gonna sit here. Be, ready I'm now? not gonna sit here and be insulted by you. Oh my God. Long week is over. Chat day is back. Kirk and said once again on Statesman.com, answering all your questions for an hour this morning. A lot of good questions once again today. Uh, and today we're gonna now. And go through and take some of the highlights of that chat. And guys, first and foremost, Desmond Harrison, big time offensive lineman, back with the Longhorns after sitting out for academic reasons. What kind of an impact is he going to have now that he's back at practice? Can you tell me if he's going to play? I Texas, can't tell you that right now. Texas only said he's cleared to practice, had not been cleared for games yet, but it sure looks like that's the progression that's going to follow. And I think it's a huge impact because. The week we were there, we only saw him one day, but man, this is an impressive specimen. So, and you know, teams like, you know, Southern Cal and Stanford and Cal and Oklahoma were looking at him, so he was in demand. So I think he can really help them, but I don't know if he can step in right away and start because of all the time he's missed. Hopefully the controversy surrounding Contra Costa is behind us. <laughs> and hopefully he can play because that makes them bigger, more physical, and more formidable, and it gives them a lot more depth, and they need that across the front. Another question you guys took, a couple questions actually, uh, on Texas's Thanksgiving tradition, playing on Thanksgiving. Uh, they don't have Texas A&M, obviously, anymore. They're playing TCU last year, Tech this year. How big of a hit is it to that game? How much of a to take it off the marquee that they're not playing A&M anymore on that night? I don't know, that, that TCU game was, it was exciting. <laughs> that was exciting. Wow. It was really exciting. Excuse me. but uh, I didn't get to see it. I was at a Cowboy uh, You were lucky because uh, it had no pizzazz. There was no buzz in the stands. It's just not the same. I don't think it ever will be the same if it's not A&M again someday. College football is a lot more fun, and I've said it a million times. When the Texas Longhorns and the Texas A&M Aggies are going at it every year on Thanksgiving weekend, that's what it's all about. Rivalries make this game what it is today. Ohio State, Michigan, USC, Notre Dame, Texas. Yeah, what happens Texas if all those went away? What what kind of game would we have left if all those rivalries maybe, went by maybe the way they side? just maybe they just show the rest of the games on the long run network. Do you Is that see still around? I know uh, 10 days till kickoff, everybody wants to talk football right now, but there's a little bit of Longhorn basketball news out there with uh, yesterday, Ioannis Io Papapitru, still Very takes nice. me a while Very to good. get that name right. Very good. Good. good job uh, there, Dave. He is not coming back for his sophomore season, staying over in Greece to play for a professional team over there. Uh, how much of a hit is this for the Texas basketball team, a team that already looked like it was going to struggle to make the NCAA tournament? It's a huge hit to a very average team, right? So it makes it even huger. And uh, I, huger. Huger, more huge. Uh, I just hope uh, Rick Barnes has enough to build a team. I mean, <laughs> you know, he's got wow. like 10 players, like nine of them are freshmen or sophomores. And these aren't young, great talent. You know, he's lost uh, five players since last season, and only one of them has some NBA possibilities. And uh, Michael Bongo doesn't have a team yet either. Mm -mm. That my phone that's my phone. That's, that's probably Mac. I'll get yeah. back to you later, Mac. So I, I think Rick Barnes. Oh yes, it's amateur hour here. I think Rick Barnes <laughs> was going to be a, have a bad team next year anyway. Right. Now without Cabongo, you know most phones quit after three. I know. I now, no now without Cabongo and Papa Pedro, uh, they're going to struggle to finish 500. I just think it could be a rough sledding for Rick Barnes' team and with maybe huge implications or for the future. Or huge. Another week, another load of questions coming in for Kirk and Sed, ranging from football to the best lunch spot in Austin. Who knows what, was, what we're going to get again next week. Lotus. Although next week we'll be in our first game week of the season, so we'll be ready. New Mexico State will only be days away at that point, so getting excited here. Make sure you tune in again next week, Wednesdays, 11 a.m. Kirk and Sed, always at statesman.com, answering your questions, and we'll be here again to have another highlight chat talk about the best questions of the day. We'll see you next week. I have my phone turned off by next week.